Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, I uh, just thought I'd do a quick whip and chat and let you know what's been going on in the Harrison household. Uh, sorry I've been away for a while. Um, I'll explain all that as we go along. I am working on my 2021... challenge calendar and it is a painting of 2021 all the different things that went on um, and that are still affecting us now uh, I did start it on the 1st of December and I did do from what number 1 to number 13 and we got all that done and then unfortunately hubby got poorly so although it is the 19th today um, I am still on the 14th so I'm going to do that one today um, I'm going to try and maybe do two a day so that I can eventually catch up. So hopefully by the 24th, we might actually have it finished. Um, I did make a promise in March when I bought this painting that I would finish it this year. <laughs> so here goes. Anyway, let's get started. Um, I've got my Wilson's 3D design tray with my little handles on. This is the one I've decided to use today. I've had to start with a new pick-me-up pen uh, because my other one ran out and I do need to go through and uh, look at the video and learn how to redo these. Please don't look at my nails, they are disgusting. Um, so yeah, I have got Millie about somewhere. Um, I think she's going to come downstairs now because she's heard me talking and she thinks there's somebody else in the house. So we'll see how we go, see how this one works out. So um, with doing this one, because it has got a lot of white and a lot of white in the background, let me just pull you out a little bit so you can see a bit more of it okay so what I've been doing is trying to just do a little bit of an overlap on edges like here because otherwise if you do completely straight lines on every section particularly with a really light color or the white color that I've been using sorry there's going to be an awful lot of shadow on this I do apologize um then what I'm finding is that you tend to get a real gap and you can see where your square was. So as I go along uh, on this like number 14, what I do is tend to do little bits of extra in the uh, edges as I go along so that I'm overlapping them slightly. Um, otherwise, you know, it just seems to stop the uh, white edges quite so much. You'll see I've got a few little uh, beads in this one here. Um, that I've just gone over there and that's not very straight but we'll see how we go um, yes we will that's Millie joining in there she wants to know who I'm talking to so let's see if we can get this without any glare put the light a bit I think that's a bit better I don't think we've got quite so much glare there so we're working on day 14 goodness me i wish it was still the 14th i feel as though i've just not got anything done i um, hope everybody else is doing okay right. and what i tend to do is keep all my drills at one side and then i do single place so i use all the drills at this side and then when i've done that i shake them to the other side <laughs> We all have our own strange ways of doing things, I know. So what I'm going to do, I've lifted this corner up slightly um, because I am just going to go into this corner slightly just so that we don't get those straight lines. Not that I ever seem to get straight lines these days. Okay, Millie's just been for a drink, so... <laughs> okay, so let's see if this is any better. I'm trying not to rock the stand. I've got a funny feeling this is going to be rocky. Oh dear, it's uh, not easy to do when you've got to look through a magnifying glass and uh, try and record at the same time as well. I think I'm going to have to get a different stand. Right, so let's see where we are. Okay, so um, please don't watch this if you're, uh, you don't like hearing about medically type things and illness type things because uh, I will be mentioning a bit. I won't go into graphic detail. <laughs> Yeah, so Monday I went for uh, my third jab, my booster jab. Uh, Hubby's already had his, so that was good. Um, and then Hubby had come with me because we were going to go, you know, to the shops um, and just do a little bit of last minute Christmas shopping. And unfortunately, he started being poorly while he was in the car. Um, he did start uh, vomiting 
and uh, he felt really unwell so we came home um, and he didn't want to go to bed he wanted to stay up but he did start continually vomiting and felt really really poorly so i eventually managed to get him to go to bed he doesn't like going to bed he likes to keep going if he can uh, but i said you know you're just gonna have to go to bed um, and try and sleep it off we're just thinking it's one of these 24 hour bug things um, he didn't have his temp a temperature and his um, saturation levels and everything we've got one of those little things you know that you can put on your finger uh, and that all seemed to be okay um, so yeah you know we just thought you know maybe sleep it off he'll feel better tomorrow whoops that one's not wanting to go in there try and keep these as straight as possible and cover over those eyes because the little black lines do show through white if you don't get them dead center um yeah and then monday night we had quite a sleepless night because he just fe kept feeling really sick and really poorly and you think well he's not really had much to eat he can't possibly still be being sick um and then tuesday it started coming out the other end tuesday morning um, so that wasn't very nice wake up and uh, we, I managed to get, persuade him to stay uh, in bed because obviously um, the toilet is upstairs that he can use. Just give these a bit of a shake again. And uh, yeah, so we got him upstairs. Uh, yeah, so I managed to persuade him to stay in bed. Um, tried ringing the doctors when I finally got through to the doctors um, our doctors have one of these uh, automated service things where it says oh we've got long queues um, if you want to be called back when you're near the front of the queue then press one or whatever so we did um, about three hours later we got a call back um, all the appointments have gone for today and I said well you know he's a, a poorly chap um, we do you know really need to talk to a doctor and it was like well no we, we haven't got anything today you can ring back tomorrow um or i can get a chemist to ring you the chemist can ring and have a chat to you well i suppose it's better than nobody so the chemist rang us um well <laughs> half past 11 the following day the following morning uh, by which time he was actually in hospital <laughs> so yeah that was a real good um waste of time um, so yeah, it's just useless getting in our doctors at the moment. Not happy with it at all. It just seems to be everywhere. Um, understaffed, uh, people being on sick, people isolating. It, it's just ridiculous. I just don't know where all the... Ooh, what's that bit that's come on there? A bit of fluff or something there. I don't know where all these extra people have come from that are stopping the doctors from it, being able to see anybody. Um, but everybody you talk to seems to be in the same boat and having the same problems. Anyway, um, he continued to be sick and felt very, very poorly. And then he started saying he felt really strange, which when he's been poorly before, he starts saying he feels strange. And eventually, I think it was about half ten. Um, was it half ten? It was about nine o'clock. I can't remember exactly when it was. Um, on Tuesday evening, I did manage to persuade him to let me ring it. Uh, 111 which is like our emergency nhs um system whereby you actually chat to somebody that goes through lots of computer questions um about what it is and uh, see what they say anyway i went through all his symptoms explained all his previous things that have happened and she said well uh, i'm going to call an ambulance for you uh, you're not classed as an emergency because so it could be a few hours so you're like okay um you know i've heard people waiting hours for ambulances recently as well it's just a sign of the times i'm afraid so i stayed upstairs with him and um, the whole day on tuesday he was terrified of being left on his own every time i moved more than six inches away from him he was shouting for me saying where are you where are you uh, so yeah it, it wasn't a great day Um, I didn't manage to really get anything done he couldn't stand the television on Um, he couldn't stand the noise he didn't want the curtains open so I was just basically reading on my phone reading books and things um, and just trying to pass the time and trying to look after him it was 
you know, a, a very long day, shall we say. Anyway, the ambulance came reasonably quickly. I think it was about 11 o'clock at night when they came. So we'd only probably waited maybe an hour, which I was expecting it to be a lot longer than that. Um, and they came and they did all his um, tests and everything. They clip you up to a heart monitor and everything. I mean, it was quite funny. Uh, well, I mean, it wasn't funny, but looking back now, it was funny. Um, because of course Millie has to join in with everything that's Millie our little Scotty dog as you've already heard and uh, yeah he she um, she was watching everything they were doing I mean they do say to put dogs out the way but I always just say you know are we all right are you okay with dogs well they take one look at her and she goes running up to them wanting a fuss and everybody just seems to fall in love with her Um, so yeah she came upstairs with them and as I said, at one point, the uh, paramedic guy had all these, uh, all this machinery clipped up to Paul um, and taking all his vital signs and all the rest of it. And uh, he's knelt down with the machine on the bed. So then he was reading uh, the machine on the edge of the bed and Millie put her paws up next to him. So she stood on her hind legs uh, completely next to him and he just turned around and looked at her and said, can you read these as well? <laughs> And uh, yeah, I just said to him, well, I think she can. <laughs> She's quite a clever dog. <laughs> so yeah, so anyway, we get to uh, the hospital and we went into this little room. It was not too bad. I mean, Tuesday nights, it was busy, but not overly busy. Um, there was all the people. We've had a documentary sort of hospital documentary fly on the wall thing made um, in our hospital in uh, Hull Royal Infirmary. So there was, you know, plain spot the one that was on the telly kind of thing. Um, you know, there's various people in various states. There was one old lady that did quite upset us because she was just crying and crying and saying, please help me, please help me. And bless her, she obviously didn't know where she was. Um, and that wasn't good. And because of the uh, pandemic and everything that's going on, I couldn't really go across to her. I just sort of like waved and smiled, but um, that upset her even more. So I thought, oh dear, I didn't think I was that bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she was 40 minutes crying and nobody actually went to her and spoke to her or did anything. So that wasn't very good. Um, you know, yeah, you just like to think, gosh, if that was my mum, I'd be absolutely horrified if, you know, she'd just been left to cry and be upset and nobody took any notice of her. Uh, but anyway, I suppose they do a difficult job. It, you know, it is uh, difficult and maybe they'd seen to her before we got there. I don't know. But anyway, it, it wasn't nice to hear, shall we say. Um, and uh, anyway, they came and took some bloods and then a doctor came and had a word with us. And then we got sent through to another room. Um, while hubby was sort of feeling a little bit better at one bit I think once you've actually been sick sorry uh, so I'm trying not to be too graphic um, then you do feel better for a little bit afterwards and uh, in those moments we did have a bit of a laugh he did have a sick ball an empty brand new sick ball on top of his head at one bit as a hat because he said the lights were too bright and uh, so the nurse walks in and he's got the uh, sick bowl on his head and she just looked and walked away. Um, and then because of the amount of uh, sickness that he had, all his lips swelled up and got really sore. He really did look like a trout pout. So, I mean, we did have a bit of a laugh about that. You know, we, we do tend to deal with things with humour. Um, I think with all we've been through and the way we are anyway, we're that sort of people. You know, you've got to laugh. You've got to have a laugh. Um, and then they started worrying because there was like brown stuff. Sorry again, a bit graphic. Uh, brown stuff in his sick, which they did think might be blood. So they thought there might be a bleed somewhere. So he was going to have to go for a CT scan. Um, and it all ends up, we were 12 hours, over 12 hours in uh, A&E waiting for him to be able to get a bed. I was very lucky I was allowed to go with him um, because in the past I've always gone, he does have a short-term memory loss and sometimes um, he can't remember things and he does like me to sort of be there because he can't remember what they've said to him or whatever. 
Um, so I sort of got away with it because really I wasn't supposed to be in there. It was only supposed to be if people came under these certain criteria that you were allowed to be in. But anyway, the ambulance people let me go with them. And uh, then when I got to A&E, sort of like, they were a little bit sniffy at first, but anyway, they let me stay. And so at least I was allowed to be with him for those 12 hours. Although I must admit, I did ache like mad the next day. Goodness me, sitting on those blooming chairs for 12 hours. Um, fortunately, I've played that game before. So I had taken um, a drink with me. and uh, But I did get, well, I actually got two cups of tea because they came round with a tea trolley, which was patience only. But as soon as she had a few left, I could have one if I wanted one. I said, oh, thank you very much. Yes, I will. I thought, oh, I'm not going to get sniffy about it. I'm dying for a cup of tea. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have maybe said that being in A&E. &E. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, and uh, Hubby ordered a cup of tea as well. And then I said, oh, are you sure you're going to be all right having a cup of tea when you're not feeling very well and, you you know, you're being sick? And uh, he said, oh, no, you're all right. I got it for you. So I did end up with two cups of tea. Yay. Um, which is maybe a bit selfish when he's not very well. But I was just, after 12 hours, I was dying for a decent cup of tea. And that wasn't, it was wet and warm. And that was uh, about all I can say for it. But it was a cup of tea. So um, at one bit, I did go a bit funny myself. So we had another bit of a sort of argument, but a laughy argument, as it were. Um, I said, because uh, I tend to, I can't cope with illness sometimes and everything suddenly hits me like um, a train. And uh, I just said, oh, I feel really, really faint and I'm feeling really funny. So I said, oh, I'm going to have to lay down on the floor. So I'm laid on the floor in his cubicle in A&E. &E, and uh, Hubby's going, I'm going to call a nurse. I'm going to get somebody. I'm going to get somebody. You're not very well. And I'm saying, don't you dare, don't you dare. Because, oh, heck, I don't want to be laid on a bed and them start examining me. Because I know what I'm like, you know. You, you know yourself. And I just felt really, really off it. And I thought, I'll be all right in a minute. If I can just lay down, I'll be all right. So just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just let me recover from it on my own. So uh, he's like, no, 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 I'm going to get somebody. I'm saying, if you call somebody, I'll never speak to you again. And oh, dear. So uh, it, it was a bit of a, well, not, was it a, well, yeah, it was a bit daft, shall we say, a bit of a laugh we had. What I tend to do when I'm doing uh, a diamond painting, if I'm doing it in sections like this, I look for one that I know there's a lot of colour um, and a lot of colour blocking. So, and again, I do like to use uh, a lot of drills, have a lot of drills in my tray, so. get those tipped over so let's crack on with these l's and get these done oh look i've got a dog hair there that's what happens when you sat next to the pooch rather than uh, doing it somewhere else but yeah so that's why i've been away um unfortunately after the 12 hours of sitting there they whisked him away into a ward um i didn't actually manage to say goodbye to him they were that fast whisking him away and then was told, sorry, you don't meet the criteria, you're not allowed to visit. So I've not been able to go and visit him. Um, I've not really felt like talking or filming or chatting. Uh, so, yeah, I uh, have completely missed out on my uh, videos and my advent calendar and all the rest of it. Too much else on my mind, but I have done a lot of diamond painting. And uh, you'll be pleased to know I have completed... Uh, Santa Express. Um, I tend not to sleep very well while he's in hospital because she seemed to always have one ear open for the telephone in case the phone rings. Uh, yeah, it, it's been a tough, a tough week. Probably tougher for him being in hospital, albeit he has got everybody running around after him. <laughs> Uh, is more than I've had. No, I've been, I've managed to get a lot of cleaning and tidying up and everything done and sorting out. I'm pleased we'd already got all our Christmas presents done and I got those wrapped um, the last weekend, weekend before. So all that had already been done. So at least I've just had um, Hubby to concentrate on. I, I did 
go up to the hospital and take him some clothes and some bits and pieces and some toiletries. Um, but yeah, it, it's uh, not brilliant. Um, at the moment, he is still in, so they're still doing tests on kidneys and they said today that they're going to do some tests on his liver. Uh, he's ringing up a lot, so if I do have to suddenly pause this video, it's probably because he's ringing me. Um, but we'll see how we go. So yeah, so that's sort of been me this week. Um, Millie was really miffed. She went across to our neighbours who takes her out uh, for us in the morning. She goes on these walks with him in the morning. Um, and... Uh, he took her in for the night. I don't think he got any sleep that night either. And then when she came home, she went running around the house uh, looking for hubby. And I think I've mentioned before, she has a little portal in the gate. And she went running out there um, and was sat out there for over an hour looking. And I had to bring her in because it was getting cold and I didn't want her to get upset. She wouldn't speak to me. Uh, she just kept turning her back on me. Um, wasn't interested in me at all. I think she wondered what on earth I'd done with him because obviously I'd gone out of the house with him in the ambulance and then not brought him back. So it was my fault. <laughs> so she wasn't uh, speaking to me. They do get a little bit loose sometimes at the end of these, but you must be careful not to actually twist um, the blue tack that's in the middle. Otherwise you end up with a big blob. You need to have it so it's just poking out enough just to be tacky on the end. But uh, you don't have to refill these. You just, if it does stop getting tacky, you just then put a little bit more in. Okay, as I say, I'm sure there's not one straight line in any painting I've ever done. Uh, but I enjoy doing them and that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's certainly helped me over this last week. Um, just to calm down, just to get a bit of peace. Um, I did pop on to Mindy's, uh, Mindy's Diamond Moment, I did pop on to her live at midnight last night just to say hello, um, sort of I am still here, I am still around, but uh, yeah, I've not taken part in the Elks Christmas Elves Challenge since the 13th, and as I say, this is my, uh, how far I am be behind on my advent calendar, so I'm still doing this one but I did want to get Santa Express finished I have got that done and I am pleased I've done a little completion video um I'll get that edited soon I have actually given it to uh, my dad and he loved it because he loves trains uh, I could see it written all over his face where on earth am I going to put this because it is huge <laughs> but uh, yeah it, it, it was a nice painting it's it's lovely once it's done um but yeah I've done a, a review on that one so, um, yeah, I haven't spoken to a doctor since Thursday morning. Um, I spoke to a nurse on Friday and it's like really the hospital shut down on a weekend because there's just like one doctor covering loads of wards. They don't know the patients as such. They're just there for emergencies. So, you know, if any test results come back, they're a bit reluctant to tell you anything. So at the moment, everything is up in the air. All they have been able to tell me is that there has been no bleed. He hasn't had an internal bleed anywhere. So they're not quite sure what the brown was that he was bringing up. But it wasn't uh, blood, which is good. Um, so I'm pleased about that. Uh, I've had a bit of fun with the new beds. Um, that was quite fun because I decided... With having to change the beds quite a lot, I thought, right, rather than making them, because they are two single beds, well, they're two two foot six inch mattresses on top, I thought I might just have them as single bed in, single beds. Um, and then at least I've only got one side to wash and sort out if uh, anything happens. So I got it all made up as uh, single beds. And... I slept in it and woke up the following morning and I was on the floor. <laughs> um, the mattresses are really, really slippy. And even with sheets and mattress covers over them, um, they move. 
and uh, yeah so the mattress I went gosh what I'd been doing during the night I dread to think and uh, yeah I was actually on the mattress on the floor <laughs> um, so I've had to put to, like the uh, king size uh, bed sheet over again so that it like anchors the two mattresses together so that they don't fall off but yeah that was quite fun I thought blimey neck what have I been doing during the night I'm on the floor but you know when you wake up and particularly when it's like the night after you've spent 12 hours in hospital um, and you're a bit disorientated anyway because you've had very little sleep. Oh, has that one just escaped over there? Yes, it has. Uh, so, yeah, so that was quite fun. Just get my next colour. Yeah. So I didn't expect to be uh, falling out of bed. <laughs> it can only happen to me. Uh, I mean, it was a good job it wasn't Hubby because I'd have struggled if, um, to get him off the floor. But yeah, that was uh, a bit worrying. I'm getting a bit worried that I'm running out of these red drills. There's not many of them left um, and I've still got quite a lot to do. So we'll see how far they go. Uh, so I do apologise about the quality of the video. It is just where I'm sat and what's happening. Um, I will say a big thank you to everybody that's contacted me to see um, what's happening and how I am and hoping that you know everything's okay because obviously I have been posting a video a day for quite a while now um, and earlier in the year I did uh, have a little bit of a break as well um, so yeah thank you ever so much it's much appreciated thank you to all the subscribers as well that have stayed with me um, I have lost a few I, you know I do appreciate there are a lot of people out there for you to watch um, and that you choose me and choose to come and follow along and have a bit of a giggle with me. Uh, it really is appreciated. Um, I am coming up to, well, I think it's about a year since I posted my first video. I think it's the 23rd of December that it went live. Um, but I got a reminder from YouTube, something about, oh, you've been with us a year. Um, as Scotty Dog Crafts. Um, I think pre previously I was just Liz Harrison because uh, I just used to post like personal videos and things and lots of uh, Millie and Maisie, our previous Scotty um, and then I decided to get back into my crafting uh, so yeah but yeah I really do appreciate uh, everybody that's um, sent messages and sent me private messages and things it really is appreciated uh, and I hope you'll stay with me and we'll have a bit more fun uh, when I first started my channel, I did think, oh, well, you know, it's a bit of fun. Um, it's something for me to do. I've said before, you know, rather than being a wife and a carer, it just lets me sort of be Liz, really, and have a natter with friends. Um, I can't see you, but, uh, you know, you, you can contact me. You can interact and things and just gives me a little bit of an outlet and uh, doing something that I love doing which is uh, great fun as you can see I do miss sometimes my eyesight is absolutely appalling and this is with a magnifying light so imagine what I'm like without it <laughs> okay I do hope this camera's not rocking too much Millie keeps kicking me she's laid next to me and uh, she's decided she wants a bit more of the seat than I've actually let her have so every now and again I just keep getting a sharp kick to my side so yeah um, don't worry I won't kick her back uh, and she has had a tea so she won't be nattering for that but, yeah. so let's get uh, this section done I'll see if I can do this section before I run out of anything to say I'm not quite sure whether I'll manage that or not by the time I edit this one um, it might be in another couple of days time we'll have to see we are hoping um, that Hubby will be out for Christmas um because of the like lockdown on the hospital that you know you're not allowed visitors at all um we're hoping that they're not going to keep him in because obviously you know th there's going to be the germs and everything flying around in there and i certainly don't want him anywhere near it i'm definitely going to run out of this color because i've still got that part to do there and all of this part to do here so i'm going to run out of this color I have got some spares, hopefully. Is this 666? Let me have a look. 
Yeah, this is 666. So I know I've got some spares. Just hope the die lot's close enough. But uh, that's a bit naughty. I wonder if I had another bag or I've got another pot of them anywhere. I'll have to have a look. I think I maybe did. There must have been. I know there's definitely another bag of the white. In fact, I've got an awful lot of the white. I have. Look, look. I've got a whole other pot. Yay. But well, that's okay then. We've got plenty. We've got plenty. Phew. I would hate to run out. I have run out on paintings before and it's so annoying. Can't be doing with it. So, um, because... I haven't uh, been opening my advent calendar. Um, I've had to avoid an awful lot of videos and an awful lot of YouTube videos at the moment. Is that a colour that's... Oh, no, that's a G. Just picking that off and having a look. I'm just thinking, is that another one that's dropped? Um, so I do apologise to people because there are a lot of people that I do watch. Um, but because they've got advent calendars similar to mine or the same as mine... I don't want to see what they are, so I will get back to doing that. Um, I don't know whether to do them all at once or to still do them on a daily basis or what to do, really. Um, Millie has been having hairs because obviously she's in a routine and she's like, well, I know he's in hospital, but I've still got to eat, you know. I'm a growing dog and I still need to uh, have my food. So, yeah, she's still been having hairs. But uh, what I might do when Hubby comes home, because obviously he's got his to open um, and I don't want him having all that sugar at once. He'll be absolutely hyper having a great big sugar rush. So we'll just have to wait and see where we go and see what we do. Um, I've got a grocery delivery coming today. That was fun. Uh, trying to decide this was like our Christmas grocery delivery. So I would have been getting a lot of my fresh stuff. Um and a lot of my Christmas stuff. There is only going to be the two of us for a Christmas dinner, but you know, we do like to get some nice stuff in and have a little bit of a celebration on our own. Um and it was a case of well, what the heck am I gonna get? So what I've had to do is go through and order stuff that I can freeze if it's not gonna be home and we can have our Christmas dinners on a later date or something that's not going to spoil you know it, it's been quite tricky to order i know in the grand scheme of things actually ordering Chris, ordering groceries for christmas isn't uh, a major thing but you know you, you've got to think about these things let me just put some more drills in my tray i am on a slant on this as well my table does slant so if you're wondering why everything suddenly starts slipping one in one direction that's because uh, my tray is slanting. Okay, so yeah, I tend to tip them all to one side like that. And then I work from the other end. <laughs> we all have some very strange habits. But I do what works for me. And, uh, you know, if you're new to diamond painting, you can maybe follow somebody else's techniques for a while. And then you eventually do get into your own little routine and uh, see how you get on. And, oops, get this done. Yeah, I do like this red colour. Nice and bright as well. Um, I did find while I was doing the train, uh, I don't know about you, but if I've got dark colours on a picture, I always like to start on the part that's got the dark colours because I don't enjoy doing the dark colours as much. I do enjoy nice vibrant colours. So I always try to work on a picture and leave all the nice vibrant colourful bits till last um I mean this one's bright anyway you know it's mainly white and red so you know it's uh, a good picture to do you know nice bright colours I do love this it, I think it does make you smile it does make you more cheerful if you're doing bright colours uh, I think as well because a lot of the darker colours of drills um I don't know what it is whether it's the manufacturing or what I certainly think with 310 the black that you get because they do so many of them you do tend to get more sort of bits of knobbly bits stuck on the sides and different sizes and um the last one i did tend to seem to have little skirts on you know it has like a, a little muffin top um you know and it does make it more difficult plus as well with my eyesight i find doing a dark color um 
I can sometimes, I can't even see where I'm putting the drill and I certainly can't see whether the drill is the right way up or the wrong way around. So it uh, it isn't quite as enjoyable doing a darker colour for me. Whereas these are just great because I can see the colours and I can see the letters because these ends are white on red. So they really do stand out. It's been a, a nice picture to do and it's poured glue as well, which uh, makes life easier. As you can see sometimes there's an extra drill sort of like grabbing onto the side of the pen so i do get two for one i must get back into multi-placing i have tried it um and i just seem to be all fingers and thumbs again maybe it's my eyesight i don't know but it's like anything else you've got to practice what is it somebody said once if you do ten thousand hours of something then eventually you will be an expert at it so there you are so right, I've used all these here, so now I'm going to just tip those all down there and I've got some nice rows again here. And that's how I work. So I do have a lot of drills in my tray. Uh, it does make for fun if you do decide to throw them on the floor because you have got an awful lot of drills in your tray. And there's a lot more to pick up. <laughs> Which isn't great, but there you are. Um, oh, Christmas Eve as well. Now, I was going to do a live on Christmas Eve and uh, just read out the night before Christmas because I think it's lovely. And um, three of our grandchildren we've not seen for over two years now, um, which, you know, I'm really sad about. And I just thought maybe they could watch it. Um, our youngest... He probably doesn't even know who we are now, to be fair. Um, so I just thought, you know, if they could watch uh, Nana, Grandma reading out night before Christmas, it might be just a little memory for them, just something. Um, now, whether I'm actually going to do that or not is going to depend on whether Hubby's home um, and, you know, how well he is when he does come home. If he's going to need a lot of looking after then I think I'm just going to have to bob and try and do a quick pre-recording of it um, and we'll see how we go. So if you can watch out, if you can join me for a live, uh, I'll post a little notification of it and let you know when it uh, is likely to come up. But if you can just join in and say Merry Christmas. Um, I know some of uh, my viewers are actually um, on different time zones, so maybe you won't be able to, but anybody that could join even just one person so i'm not completely on my own talking to myself mind you was saying that i will have millie uh, millie the scotty with me so uh, yeah i won't be completely on my own but i am hoping hubby's home for christmas because hubby and i have been together uh 27 years i think yeah i think it's 27 years so We've never had a Christmas apart, so I don't want to start now after all this time uh, being apart from him. And I say because I can't visit him even. Um, yeah, it's pretty heartbreaking. Um, I've shed a lot of tears, shall we say. Uh, you know, it's... Uh... But you've got to be positive and I don't want to make this into... Um, a negative video. I don't want, you know... I want to make happy videos. I want to try and be upbeat and try and look on the bright side. I know it's difficult sometimes. Um, but yeah, when I'm feeling sad, I just think about how daft he is sat there with a blinking sick bowl on his head. You know, one of those little cardboard ones. Uh, yes, I did get a photograph of it. No, I'm not going to post it. Because I did say, if you leave that on your head, I'm going to take a photograph. And he said, go on then, take a photograph. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever say to me go on then because i will um so yeah and uh, yeah with his, his trout pout as well there are all the little daft things that i remind him of when he comes home Um, we've had a few laughs i know uh, the first time he was in hospital he was in for seven months and he was in over Halloween, so I took him his scream mask, because he's got a scream mask he used to have on his uh, car chair. i just get another colour. Oh dear, good job I wasn't filming that bit. Uh, I've just tried 
tipping all the drills out thinking, why aren't the drills coming out into the pot? And then realised I still had the uh, stopper on my pot. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so when I get to this bit, what I then do, when I've done the bulk of the colours, is actually just start at the first letter and uh, see if there's any of that letter actually on the canvas and work my way through my letters. Uh, I find that's easier to do rather than looking um, and then working another way around. So where am I? Right, so number one is K. So let's do a few Ks. Okay. Oops, I think uh, next door are having a party. There seem to be quite a few people arriving. So there's a few Ks down this side. Let's do these. Okay. And I've forgotten completely what I was saying, which isn't difficult. There you are. Look, that one is upside down. If that had been black, I wouldn't have known um, until I came to look at it closer or tried to... I do tend to run my hand over uh, my diamond paintings as well, just to see how they're going on. Um, and, oh, looks nearly like a rude word then. Um, right. Is that all the Ks? Yep, there's a Y and a C and a P. All round there and all down there. So we'll get the next one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, carry on doing this and get this section finished and possibly do another section. Uh, as I said, I do apologise for the quality of the video because it's not brilliant. I've got a horrible feeling that my shopping delivery might come early and uh, I don't want to be in the middle of filming when it arrives. So I'm going to uh, say finish this bit off and I'll put a photograph of it at the end of the video. Um, I'll try and post again as uh, I've got my um, Santa Express completion that uh, I will get up because I know a few people were asking how I was getting on with that. Um, but yeah, just wanted to pop on to say how I'm getting on, um, what's been happening, why I've not been around um, and just a big thank you for all of you for sticking with me. It really does mean a lot and again thank you for all your messages. Um, again, that really does mean a lot. So, thanks for stopping by. Um, if you've enjoyed seeing this, <laughs> then please give me a thumbs up. It just gives me a little bit of a boost with YouTube. And if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my next videos come up, which hopefully will be soon. So, thanks for stopping by. And uh, I do hope to see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.